I sense traces of acceptance in JP. I always thought JP was different from a lot of other places I've ever lived. It was the first and only place I've ever lived where I felt really neighborhoody. It's like kind of like a little Sesame Street-ish, like you walk down the street and people will like wave at you and say hi, or people will smile even if they don't know you, like that doesn't happen in a lot of places. Everybody's not white. You have Cubans, Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, everybody coexisting. Every four or five years, a new race moves in. When I first moved over here, I was uh, now men in Hispanic. As a matter of fact, I had to learn how to speak Spanish. We have, you know, a large gay community. We have a lot of hippies. If you walk down the street and close your eyes, you, it seems like you'd be, um, you have all these different languages all around you. The general mix uh, of the kinds of people who live here is one of the best things about Jamaica Plain. Um, another thing that means a lot to me are the open spaces, the arboretum, uh, the pond, and the, the river, the muddy river going down, all of that. I like the fact that there's a lot of nature around here compared to like living downtown. That's, I don't think that I as a person could handle living in an area without at least a little trees and grass and flowers and things. It's not as busy as some other parts of Boston, but at the same time, it's not it's not just totally boring. There were some kids that were probably freshmen in high school, I would guess. And uh, they just stopped me on the bike path and they had a knife and I didn't and they took my things. I gotta confess, it kind of shook, it kind of shook me on the, on the JP thing. What about that woman who got killed up here in Jamaica playing in the house? You go, you know little Peach up here in Center Street, Tedeschi's, they own it? You ought to see who sits out there. You won't believe it. They rip the people off. It's a disgrace. You say anything to the cops between you and I now, they hate you. That's all the good was writing tickets. This tree and this moment to here, to uh, all the way up, is quiet. But it's from here to Moses Park to the project, they are not safe. You, know, you get Forest Hills and the, like JP Center, and it's this like little con conglomeration of all these things, and it's exciting. You know, you can feel completely unsafe and completely safe. <laughs> can I say it is a community of? Uh, where everybody is is um, easily accessible and not homophobic. No. Don't be scared of all the lesbians. They're all right. An opportunity opened up in this house and it is the best home I've ever been in. People aren't just like me and are all at the same time. Um, there's artists and people who are creative and people who are forging their own path and families and blended families and polyamorous families <laughs> and, um, and yuppies and and puppies. I like that uh, JP is very queer friendly. Gay people? Oh. Oh, of course not. Living in JP does not help that situation at all. Jamaica Plain is, I think, the, the essence of a love-hate relationship. I remember a kid that we grew up with, he was had a white mother, a black father, 
and he was a friend of my my twin brothers. And he came over. He wore a Malcolm X jacket over my house, and my father threw him out, told him to take off the jacket, and he could come back in when he took the jacket off. But when we went to school, there was very few color. Most of the color people were down in Raxford. I think I've run across more male-female issues than color issues. Uh, white people piss me off a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Special blend my roommate, he's also my homie You know how we get down, it's nothing premeditated Never fake it, gotta keep it real JP wasn't raised, but it's in my fluid now It's like a part of me, it's up in my artery The poetry is prophecy, ain't nobody stopping me Gentrification is really a danger to change the character of Jamaica Plain And I really hope that we don't price out uh, the things and the people that make our community so wonderful I was at this party, you know, and I was like, um, all these yuppies from wherever, and someone from Jamaica Plain, I said, I was from Jamaica Plain, where do you live, this and that. He said, well, where are you from? And uh, I said, Jamaica Plain. And they go, no, no, like original. And I said, yeah, JP, that's where I was born and raised. And verbatim, they said, literally, they go, nobody, nobody grows up in Jamaica Plain. Oh. I mean, it's cool, because you have these college kids moving in, but like, you know, I see them walking around, they got their hipster gear on and stuff. And it's just kind of like, man, uh, who are you? You know, the emo kids and the, you know, the bike couriers and the kids with spiked belts. I don't like the hippies. One thing I don't really like about Jamaica Plain, I'd have to say, is the more yuppified areas. They seem to be lobbying to the city to get rid of parking places in front of their huge houses on my street. The traffic on Center Street can be a hellish and the tracks that are still on Center Street. The tracks that go down Center Street makes it really scary. The red bicycles. I almost died. <laughs> More than once coming back from Harper's Grocery Store. I can't stand the way people look here. Stylist people, I hate them. They're everywhere. That's it. I think it would be nice if there was a footbridge going across the Jamaica Way over to the pond. because It's a little bit dangerous. There doesn't seem to be very good cleanup in the winter of the snow. I wish that all the bars were open till 2 p.m. <laughs> bars are always the most conservative places in any town. So it was very typical to have a neighborhood that was, was now black would have a bar that was almost all white. Visionaries, if I may use that inflated word, like Eddie Burke, realized if you wanted to make money, you would do well to not go with the prevailing neighborhood sentiment. And Eddie said, anybody who fucks with anybody who comes in this bar is going to be banned for life. Bisexual, and I'd be like, "Oh, <laughs> okay, if you say so." Or everyone is straight, and the lesbians all live in Cambridge. And I'd say, "Oh, you really think so?" I just, I don't get out much. <laughs> <laughs> 